Is it on? Yes. Awesome. It's been a good old while since I've done a video. I know. I'm very sorry about that. I'll explain why in a sec. I won't explain in a sec. I'll explain right now. Basically, uh, Christmas and New Year's and coronavirus. Yeah, that was it. So yeah, I had a little little bout of COVID. Uh, luckily, I was fine. So was everyone in, in my family who also got it. Jasper got it, which was interesting. He actually tested positive twice, which I thought was, um, hmm, new variant maybe? Anyway, anyway, we're obviously having a bit of a tough time of it in the UK at the moment. We're having lockdown version three, which is, uh, yeah, it's gotta be done, but it's not much fun. Anyway, it's kind of stopping me from going out, meeting people, doing the kind of videos that I would like to do, and relegating me to making bedroom videos. Ugh. I mean, that's basically why I've sort of been putting it off, because I'm not particularly inspired by making videos in my bedroom. But I do have a plan that will enable me to hopefully get a little bit more out and about in some of these videos, just like maybe a tiny bit. Um, I mean, at the moment, God, it, you almost don't really need a car because you don't go anywhere. So it doesn't really matter if it's an EV or a petrol or a diesel or whatever, because it's just a lawn ornament, isn't it? That's not actually quite true. I do, I use my Tesla still. I go and get um, Jasper when it's, uh, Time for him to be here. It's quite good that it's um doesn't cost me any money and I don't have to go to a petrol station. So I ain't catching coronavirus from a petrol station. In fact, I don't think I've been to a petrol station in the last probably six months. So this this is just gonna be a short video. I just wanted to update everyone with what was going on and hopefully what they can maybe expect over the next two, three months. Uh, I don't know how long this lockdown is going to last. I don't know what kind of restrictions there are going to be when they start lifting them. I suspect it's still going to be pretty restrictive, which is, you know, a shame. Um, but it's also, like I said, it is necessary. I'm not complaining about the restrict. Well, I, mm. it'd be nice to live in New Zealand. That's all I'm going to say right there. Mm hmm. Thanks, Boris Johnson. You've done a great job. Anyway, I'm going to get into the whole politics thing because it's um, way divisive. And, you know, everyone's just kind of muddling through it as best they can, I suppose. Myself included. Right. Let me let me show you something quickly. Hi, Millie. Right. Check this out. I know what you're all thinking. You're wondering... Where's the battery? And there isn't a battery. This is a four exercise bike. I know, crazy. But the good news is it means I can cover a huge number of miles, hopefully, and go see some slightly more interesting backdrops than just dining room, living room, bedroom. And I won't be breaking any rules because I'll be doing exercise and working. You know, I'm not looking for excuses to get out the house as much as I am wanting to not have contact with other people because, you know, that will stop the spread. So yeah, that's um, that's what's going on with me at the moment. I have done a 33 mile ride on this already, got it about a week ago, and it's fantastic. It's a gravel bike, so chunkier tires. Pumped up nice and high because I don't like punctures. These are actually the new tubeless tires, which is an interesting concept. Apparently they're supposed to be more puncture resistant. I'll let you know if I get a puncture. I have had to get used to the clipless pedals. That was interesting. Yeah, these clip into the bottom of your shoes. Even the dog's board of lockdowns. You just want to go out, don't you, Millie? Yeah, I know. Won't be long now, I'm sure. Oh, you cutie. Oh, I'm spending my day trying to sort out this storage area in between the two bedrooms. It's a bit of a disaster zone at the moment. Yeah, cycling, really good fun. Amazing the number, the amount of distance one can co um, cover on a, on a bike like that without a battery. Although that does make going up hills considerably more exercise-y. But I don't mind, I need the exercise. I'm still going for my runs, still do that every now and again. I don't really enjoy the running, I enjoy the effect of running. Whereas with the cycling, I think I actually enjoy 
the cycling as well as the, the effect of the exercise. And on top of that, I look forward to the day in the summer when, you know, maybe I can go for a ride with other people, which would be something, wouldn't it? We all just live in hope at the moment, don't we? Still, it's horrible and it's winter and it's dark, so at the moment, I suppose we're not really losing all that much. Hopefully when the spring comes along, we can all get back to being a little bit more sociable with each other. Moving on, in the entertainment front, SpaceX is doing a god good job of, uh, of entertaining us all. They're sort of hopefully going to be doing their SN9 test fire and test flight. Actually, I think the, the last static fire is supposed to be happening as I film this. And hopefully tomorrow they'll be doing a second high altitude test with the SN9 prototype. So I would imagine that'll be quite fun to watch. Certainly the SN8 one was. And what's been going on in the world of cars? Well, Tesla had a pretty good full year. In fact, actually their share price over the last year has just gone up like by the most ridiculous amount. Can't believe I didn't buy shares. Even if I bought shares in the summer. Oh, oh well. What else is going on in life at the moment? I do remember in my last video, actually, I said something about um, trying to compare, a, you know, what would happen if I bought a Fiesta instead of my Tesla Model S. And I think I probably will look at that properly. But I mean, basically, the long and short of it is over 130,000 miles. The fuel savings alone are not enough to bring the cost of a Model S down to parity with the cost of a Fiesta, even when you consider the very high uh, residual value that the Tesla would have versus, say, the Fiesta, which would be pretty much depreciated to nothing by the time it gets to 130,000 miles. But even so, though, it's, it is worth having a proper, a proper look at it. I, did, I made a spreadsheet like a month ago and then I lost it, so I'm going to have to try and find that again. Maybe I'll just redo it, to be honest, because it wasn't, I hadn't got very far with it. I just put some residual values in, worked out some depreciation and uh, some fuel costs and savings, both for electricity and obviously petrol, just based on sort of rough figures for the kind of cars we're talking about. It was amazing though. I mean, half the price difference between a Tesla Model S and a Fiesta was taken care of by fuel savings alone. I'm going to try and make videos a lot more frequently than I have been doing in the past. I've well, I mean, you don't get much less frequent than the last month. I don't think I put one up. So yeah, there's that. I definitely want to do better. And especially now that the days are starting to get a bit lighter, I'm starting to feel like my motivation is, is coming back on stream, which, uh, you know, I want to direct that to something productive. And well, there isn't really a whole lot that people can do at the moment, especially if you don't already have a job where you can work from home, which... Yeah, I sort of do, I suppose. Probably not a kind of mortgage paying kind of job just yet. Anyway, it'll keep me busy for a few months and I'm waffling now and yeah. You see, I'm out of practice with this whole camera. That's actually a large part of the reason why I'm making this video is just purely so I have just a, a little bit more experience talking into the camera and hopefully when I make another video in probably two days time, I will then be a little bit better at it, hopefully. Organizing my thoughts in a reasonably fluid manner um, yeah. You know, the second I turn this camera off, like a bunch of other things is going to pop into my head that I wanted to talk about and didn't. I hope you found this interesting and, um, I assure you that I'm going to do more interesting videos in the future and hopefully quite a lot of them. I'm going to do my very best. I'm going to try not to just regurgitate news that I've read online because honestly, you guys can just go read it for yourselves online. You don't need me to tell you about it all. But sometimes, you know, when there's something that I feel is worth noting, I'm definitely going to, you know, talk about that. But um, I think the sort of the EV reviews and, you know, the kind of EV shows, hopefully, I'm hoping the EV shows later in the year are going to be are going to be on. But, you know, it really is anyone's guess at the moment. It all depends on whether the government is is right or wrong about, you know, how how things are going to go with uh the uh the global pandemic oh my goodness this video has got an awful lot of global pandemic in it anyway that's not the topic of this video i just wanted to give you all a, a quick update to to what's going on and um and hopefully i will see you all on the uh youtube in the near future all right take care and remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you soon bye